our mystery question. It's time for what's in the box. So the mystery question this week. Oh, this will not lead nicely on to uh, our follow-up conversation, uh, which we're going to have to breeze through. Um, if there was a Warhammer 40k movie, would you be first in line? Only Pay if I will. Only if I if I audition for it and I don't get it, then I won't fucking watch it. <laughs> so as long as as they never approach me for any role and I don't get it, then um, yeah, I w- would I be first in line? Absolutely. If it's Space Marines, the, the Warhammer things funny because i know you messaged me about it i'm mm. not a, a, a day one um warhammer is so thing. oh mad recent yeah yeah um it all kind of it, it, it's funny how things come around so um i originally my like before i was um working as an actor and I had a lot of time to myself, I was working on model kits. I just picked this hobby up as a 25 year old, 24 year old. And I just started to learn, like I wanted to paint all my X-Wings and TIE Fighters and I wanted to mimic the ILM studio model. So I learned how to airbrush and weather. And that became like a little fun side hobby. And then once I moved out here, I, I never picked the hobby back up again. And, and then I, um, I finally pulled the trigger. I was like, let me get back into model making. And then this is cool. I was a friend of mine was friends with Sam Whitwer, who is, uh, plays, uh, was the force unleashed, but he's also the voice of Darth Maul. And she was like, Oh my God, you make star Wars models. So does Sam, let me send, let me find out what Sam's doing. And Sam paints star Wars Legion, the miniatures. So me and Sam developed a friendship because he painted board game miniatures. I did big kind of ships. And he was like, watch this YouTube channel. This guy called Sarastero. He'll teach you how to paint. I was like, all right. And because it was small and easy to kind of like get into, I started to paint Star Wars miniatures. And then Alana Pierce, um, my uh, girlfriend, she then was like, oh, you're painting miniatures. I want a blood angel. So what the fuck's a blood angel now? <laughs> so turn, and she's Australian. So it turns out back in the day when she was in, in, in Brisbane or wherever she grew up, she loved blood angels and she was reading the literature and it was like Warhammer. You know what the fuck Warhammer is? And I was like, oh, that stupid store that I always used to pass in London every few blocks that always tricked me because I always thought, oh, it's a video game shop. Oh, it's got it's going to have toys in it. I'd go in <laughs> and it's just sweaty nerds and a terrain table and dice and i and i'm and i'm a stupid i was stupid i'm not intelligent i have a low iq so i was like oh this is intense i don't care i don't want any part of this i was all i saw measuring tapes and shit i was like nope um (laughs) so i had this aversion to it but then january this year i was shooting the house of usher and um i was like i fuck it so i picked up a box of space marines and i was like and i don't and my favorite color is red and black and those are usually color schemes and i was like i like these blue boys i don't know why i like this i like the blue with the gold and the i love the way these guys look it's stupid but it's it works it's dumb but there's something about this and i just got like sucked in so hard into warhammer i i was like yeah, and, and I'm playing catch up, but then because I've been away from home for so long, I feel this like I drink more teen. No, I don't actually, but like I'm more British now than I ever was because I'm so far away from it. I feel like I have to double down on it. That's why I probably wish the Queen my condolences, despite upsetting half of my Twitter following. They don't understand because I'm I'm still I still identify as English. I know I'm I'm, I'm Indian and stuff, and but but. but I miss home. So I'm louder about party rings and what's it's and shit like that. And then now that Warhammer's like become a part of my life and I'm like games workshop started in the UK and Citadel and it's all made there and it's quintessentially English. And that's why like, I've got a big judge dread statue for 2008. I feel like I'm like puffing my chest out a bit more cause I miss home anyway. So right now I'm watching law videos and I met up with some really sweet people play on tabletop. They, 
uh, in Vancouver and they uh, taught me how to play 40k for four hours. We only got through two turns before my, my brain just like, I couldn't add up <laughs> uh, three and four on a dice. Like that's where I got to because I was, I was, I've never played a tabletop game before. And he's like, so you rolled a three and a four. What's that? And I was like, eight. He's like, no, seven. And I was like, I probably need to call it a day. Um, it was just too much. But in the community just went nuts with me bringing it up. And like, I've never had the, the warm embrace of fandom bosom be like this before, like to this speed. As soon as I was like, Hey, 40 K like Citadel, uh, Darren Latham, who's like Citadel's, uh, or games workshops, like top sculptor. And he's been like, they're one of their heavy metal painters and he's been around worked for them for 25 years. He WhatsApps me now. And it's like, I think the base color is a little bit too light. And I'm like, all right, <laughs> cheers. And like, so all the like prominent people in that world reach out and are like getting me better and teaching me stuff. And it's been fucking awesome. The community has been fucking awesome. So, so you, I, you, did you say you've got an army? Have you got an army, a space marine army, ultramarines? Did you say you started painting ultramarines? Yeah. So the two armies I'm working on, but again, because I move, I can't commit. So once I wrap this show, I'm taking some time off, and I'm going to do my first army. Like, make sure I have like a thousand or two thousand points, whatever the fuck I need. I yep. know I've committed to for forty k. I've committed to ultramarines because I like the blue. That's it. Okay. Even though I Did know you... that other legions are probably better for how I want to play, but yeah. Yeah, I mean, I... Did you not? Did you not uh, ever get around to painting a blood angel though for Alana? Did you? Did, did. you manage to do that? Oh, you did. Yeah. yeah, blood angels. Blood angels are great. They're like space vampires. They're like yeah. I mean, they've got the, their thirst. They actually thirst blood, right? I'm still learning this. Yeah, yeah. They've got um, they've got a a, a a a genetic flaw in their design, which makes them uh, they they thirst for the blood. They it's a it's a thing called the thirst where they want to feast on the blood of their enemies and potentially the civilians they might be meant to be saving because they're overcome with this. See, I'm a blood angel. <laughs> right? How I know did you I hear am. that and go, how did you hear that and go, that's me? I, when I don't, oh, I should, we shouldn't be recording this bit, but fuck it. When I don't like someone or I've got an enemy, I don't want them gone. I want to like eat their innards. Like I am consumed with such rage. Like, like Alana said it, like I'm a sweet dude and I, you know, I'm super nice to everyone and caring and loyal. And, uh, you know, I'm genuine. I'm a nice dude. I know I am, but I also <laughs> could commit genocide. Like I have it in me to like, if you push me off the fucking edge, everyone's dead. Like, I could absolutely be that fucked. I can go, I'm so extreme. So it's like, I'm either going to be the purest of pure Luke Skywalker, or I'm Anakin, and I'm happily decapitating younglings because I had a dream about my missus. Like, I'm so capable of both. So anyway, so like when they were talking about the, like the, the Blood Angels came up because they were like, well you know, space uh, ultramarines play like this and they're tactical and they're level-headed and they're the poster boys and they're, they're this and they're that, which I'm not. Uh -huh. And they were like, but if you were playing as the Blood Angels, it's more aggressive. It suits like head first, dive in, get in there. And I'm guessing obviously the thirst from the lore is all a part of that. So yeah, that yeah. does speak to me. So I probably, I shouldn't be an ultramarine, but I also bought Horus Heresy. So I'm doing the Horus Heresy 30K. Oh, okay. And, wow. Yeah. And for them, I chose the sons of Horus, who were, who basically betrayed the emperor. Like Horus betrays the emperor, right? And mm. this one starts the something, something, something. I'm still new to it. Anyway, so what I've done is I've picked the light and dark of both. So I'll have two armies that are complete yin yang, evil, betraying, you know, heretics or whatever. And then the poster boys. I feel like that suits both my moods. That's yeah. I mean, you could also think about space wolves because um, they've, <gasps> they've got the the, the space so cool. wolves. They have the um, the wolfen, the ones who are affected by the uh, the uh, Canis helix, where 
they've uh, they've been overcome and they trans they've transformed into basically werewolves. Um, they're werewolves, uh, space marine werewolves, and they uh, they're they're pretty cool. Actually, weirdly, I I don't love the models. Like they're the only models like uh, recently that I'm not totally overwhelmed by. I don't think they kind of work. Oh. They don't look like cool werewolves. Cool the werewolves. internet just got a little bit sketchy. I was missing a bit of that. I don't know what's happened. <laughs> Oh, it's all right. I was I was basically monologuing about. Uh, you don't like the models. I, they're they're not my favourite models. Like I I just I'm pretty funny about werewolves. Like I find werewolves when they're in full transformation fucking cool. Like I like big werewolves, but the 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 wolfen models are sort of like that halfway stage when a human is turning into a werewolf. So this and, is like a big dog. More like a sort of monkey man. That's not, <laughs> okay, yeah. not going to make me any any friends at uh, at Games Workshop. I, I love night. Look, I you know I've just changed the clan of orcs that I'm painting. So I was, you know I th- oh you painted them up. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was I'm making a bad moon. Well, I was making um, a bad moon army, uh, but then I, I, someone quite rightly said, but the Gazgrel Thracker model, like the goth orc warlord, is uh, just a beautiful model. <coughs> And yeah, I, sh- I should have a goth army, so I'm making a goth army. Yeah. Oh wow! I had n- yeah, I had no idea because I know you messaged me, and I I thought you said you you picking it back up, or you've been doing it for years, or no? I was like a I was like I, I tabletop wargamed at 14 at school, um, and, and was the only kid to carry a briefcase. <coughs> so I was uh, I, I had a load of friends. Uh, uh, you briefcase sort of wanker. Went... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was uber geek. <laughs> I was like, literally. Uh, so now it's cool that people like you and like Henry Cavill's always talking about his 40k yeah. love, and it's like it's nice. It's like you know, so. I'm, I'm I'm finding that like it's helping um, women because um, I, I know that predominantly a lot of my shows had had larger female audiences, and then I'm like, oh yeah, painting ultramarines. The amount of girls that have hit me up with advice showing off like i just like they'll they'll dm me and it's like i just painted this up and like but they're not sharing it to the community because of the fucking toxicity of geek culture and stuff where women mm-hmm. are concerned but <clears throat> it's been so nice that they feel safe like they feel like it's a safe place to come up to me because i'm very transparent about i don't really know what i'm talking about and i'm still learning and advice is welcome and stuff and and it's been awesome to see the kind of people who haven't been able to, who don't feel necessarily safe sharing it, have been doing it on the sly to me. Oh, that's um, cool. <laughs> but yeah, it's been a, it's been a, it's been a really um, awesome. I'm still figuring. Like I said, I'm still figuring everything out. It's so um, dense. I mean, like I, I used to just like well, even when I wasn't like into it, into it, and I'm only just like you. I'm just starting to pick it back up again in the last sort of six months. Um, but I could just read the books. I just buy the books. Like I've got an old Codex Orcs here that I just bought, and then just I like I'm just read. Like and it's out oh, of date sweet. now. But I was just like I really when I was thinking about getting into Orcs because I was um I loved Eldar when I was a kid because I was very yeah. organised as a child, like very sort of like I had my briefcase a bit of a swatch, and so Eldar with their aspect warriors all very neat and stuff, and now Orcs is because. A fucking like a night out you, and i think you've lost or, it or, or, <laughs> <laughs> also i feel like we like... we're the i i was very being cockney or common or whatever was so like in the 90s frowned upon and i don't know what's happened but like talking like tom hardy like i feel like we all lean into it a bit like the cool way to talk now is be like all right mate how you doing all right and <laughs> maybe orcs did that in lord of the rings too like like Knowing that if you're an orc, you have to apparently use the accent when you play. Is that true? That's like a weird rule. Don't, don't tell me that, because then I, I, I have I have trouble. My my friend keeps going, yeah, because you'll have you'll you'll be able, you'll bring the daca, and I'm like, yeah, the daca, yeah. What I'm is still, that? It's it's like the the daca is like the the, the firepower. The, the, <laughs> like, that's what the daca is. Yeah. Oh, okay. But yeah, because when I was I'm... playing, they said, well, you're supposed to, like, stay with this, like... Well, you know, it's it, my favourite thing we always break out into when I have a few drinks is, um, you know, the orcs or the Urukai over the campsite when they got Merry and Pippin 
And they're like, we haven't had meat in three stinking days. And they really <laughs> lean into like, what about them? They're fresh. Um, uh, yeah, if, if I had to play as an army that does those types of voices, um, yeah, uh, uh, that that would get me off Ultramarines. Because Ultramarines, I'm just, uh, I'm basically, it seems problematic. It looks like I'm Blue Lives Matter. They're just police boys, aren't they? They aren't they? I don't know. They're, they're good. They, they, I mean, I don't know too much about Ultramarines. So I was put off them because they seem like the goody goody two shoes of the the Space Marine yeah. world. Everyone else, everyone else is kind of fucked in some way. Yeah, and flawed, like, they, yeah. They got issues, but the Ultramarines are like, good. We're we're solid. We're here. We're doing our thing. Good. Excellent. Uh... Very good. That's just my take. Someone people might know. No, Ultramarines I think that's better. what that's what I realized. Like, and it so, and it doesn't suit me at all and like like i said i love i saw black templars and i was like oh shit and i saw chaos space marines and like blood angels and i know that that is all my jam and i'm forcing myself into like painting these blueberries it's good it's good starting army look at it like that this is your first foray in it's good to like before you get you know get crazy with it yeah, you know, yeah. get some, get some xenos uh you know start with the the good boys but yeah okay no, I'm, I in, so. I'm, I'm really enjoying it. Like I said, from the community aspect of it, obviously I come from a place of privilege and, um, and if I like for something like that, that it's massive, but niche at the same time, it, um, showing interest in it and then having like the doors just flung open mm-hmm. to hobby stores and artists and, you know, this fucking incredible, uh, uh, uh artist, um, Christ, his name, why is his name? I shouldn't even bring this up because I can't remember his fucking name. Um, but this artist uh, begins with A. Um, he does like art for Paul Scott Canavan. There we go. I want to give him the correct shout out. Paul does Magic the Gathering art, like the card art. Like he's their artist. He also sometimes does Codex. Bruv, he painted me as an ultramarine, but like ah! legit, <laughs> like Paul did. Oh my like, God. In that That's style. Incredible. Uh, I, I want to print it out. Like, and that, that happened within like a couple of weeks of me even saying like, what's a war hammer. And then like, I'm an ultramarine immediately. And it's crazy. <laughs> Cause like, yeah, it's nuts how 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 fast things like that happen. But um, but yeah, I love oh. the painting of it. I'm just here for the painting. If anything, even if I never play it, I'm I'm addicted to it. I paint every day, constantly. Um, and when I'm um, does that can you, to- does that help? Like when you're coming back, you know what you said earlier about coming back to like an empty hotel it's exactly room. Exactly that. It's exactly that. Yeah. It it's it'll it. It gives me something to do. It gives. It makes me feel like I'm doing something. I also feel like, you know, my job, for instance, not every character, is, you know, is a Daniel Plainview, right? Not everything requires you to, to you're not going to burn out on every role. You know, you learn to start working hard, uh, smart, not hard. You start realizing that, some things are in your wheelhouse and some things aren't. And some of it requires you to put maximum effort and push yourself to the best of your abilities to just do the job and others you can do in your sleep. And that's starting to happen because I'm getting older and I'm more experienced. Um, so to, to scratch sometimes the itch of, I don't know what I'm doing and I need to learn and I need to get better. I paint because I do need to learn and it's, I haven't mastered it. And I'm not to say I've mastered acting, but I'm doing okay with where I'm at right now. Um, mm-hmm. And if I ever need to level up, I level up when I'm drowning, not beforehand. I, need, I do it out of a necessity, like, oh, shit, I don't know what I'm doing, and I'm, I've got to film soon. So I, I'm not just painting. I can paint. I already know where my painting level's at with Warhammer is probably better than most. This is, I, it, honestly, it's amazing. Those oh, those, uh, those death corpse of Krieg that you painted up. I was yeah. like, I mean, I love those models as well. But the paint job you did on them was incredible. Oh, thanks, mate. Yeah, I I, I took to painting quick. Like, there's no two ways about it. Like, um, I haven't been doing it long, but like, I really enjoy it. And, and with every model, I feel like I'm just like leveling up. Um, 
and I set myself this random goal, which was I want to enter the Golden Demon. Oh, uh, oh yes, yeah. Oh, oh mate. Uh, well, uh, we'll have to do we'll have to do a whole episode at some point on forty k, and we'll also have to do a deep dive on uh, the fall of the House of Usher. I'll bring my models with me, and we can compare paint jobs uh, yeah. after it's released. I'm down.